How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another video on the channel. Now, seeing as FIFA 18, it's in its dying embers now. I can see that by the views, I can see that by the, the content of other creators and stuff like that. And just the genuine interest in FIFA is dwindling. I thought, you know what? Let's start hyping up FIFA 19. 19 is coming out in a few months now, and um, yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm excited for the transfers that's coming through. You mean, you can see three on your screen right now. Cristiano, Jadon Shakiri, and Jorginho of now Chelsea. We're going to look at some transfers today, some guaranteed transfers that could change the game of FIFA come next year. And we're going to kind of give my opinion on each transfer within this transfer video. I'm going to do this every single day, not just a transfer video, like a FIFA 19 video in general, every single day now until 19 release. I will go back to 18 and do stuff on there, but there's going to be a FIFA 19 every single day um, video on this channel. It's just the way it's going to go from Monday onwards, FIFA 19 every single day. So lads, if you are excited for that, smash a like on today's video. Let's aim for 1,000 likes for the start of this, um, this the kind of new chapter, FIFA 19 on this channel. So if you're looking forward to FIFA 19, and you're looking forward to seeing some of the chances in today's video, smash a like and if you want to stick around, subscribe, subscribe, it takes two seconds, it is free and of course I stream every single day over at fb.gg forward slash marshall89hd. So that being said lads, let's have a look at some of the transfers. So the first one we're going to look at is Jadon Shaqiri. This transfer went through yesterday. He went from Stoke City to Liverpool. I've got to say, this is a major transfer. You guys might not see it as a major transfer, but Liverpool for years now just haven't had any depth of quality in their team. You look at like uh, Woodburn. Woodburn was one of their bench players for some of last season, the season before that. Um, you look at the likes of Solanke, stuff, players like that, Solanke. And they're not like Premier League title quality or anything like that. Jadon Shaqiri, as a backup player, is a very good backup player. Whether he starts in the club, whether he starts as a backup player, the, the, the future will only tell. But 13.5 million for a backup Shakiri, I'd take that any single day. My club, Newcastle United, I'd snap your hand off for a 13.5 million. Jadon Shakiri. that was his release clause for relegation. Relegation, um, yeah, yeah, release clause for relegation, I should say. And um, yeah, Stoke City said the club would like to place on record our thanks to Jadon and wish him all the best for the future. Whilst at Liverpool, he said, I'm very happy to be here. It's a huge club with a big history, big players, and a fantastic coach. So I'm really glad to and happy to be here. I reckon he's going to be a success at Liverpool. I reckon he's got this golden left foot. He's a great dribbler. I reckon he's due an upgrade as well. He's an 82 on uh, this current game, FIFA 18. I reckon he's going to boost to an 84 next game. Now the cards are just predictions. They aren't final or anything like that. This um, design isn't final. I found it online. It's um, I will link him in the description below, but I'm not too sure it is right off the top of my head. But um, yeah, it's a great Great, great card and um, a great player in general. Sure, that's a cue to be a success. So, lads, let's have a look at the next transfer. We have Lucas Torreira now of Arsenal. He went from Sampdoria to Arsenal for 26.5 million. Not coins, pounds. So that is the transfer that I did go for. I reckon Torreira, I've seen him at the World Cup for Uruguay. He's a very good midfielder. And a lot of Arsenal midfielders were saying, get injured. No, no not get injured. Go out the tournament early so you can sign for Arsenal early on. So it doesn't attract like any other major, major clubs like your Barcelonas, your Real Madrids, etc, etc. Because he was a menace. He was a bloody menace. Got stuck in the challenges. A very good, tenacious midfielder with an eye for a pass. So in terms of Torreira to Arsenal, again, I think it'll be a big success. He'll be good for cheap Premier League teams. I reckon he'll be an 82 overall, plus five upon his current card right now. So I reckon he'll be quite cheap at the start, of course. He could be a one to watch, you just never know. But uh, Sampdoria weren't pulling any punches, by the way. They said Sampdoria announced the permanent sale of Lucas Torreira, well, Sebastian Torreira to Arsenal. Let's see. The team is proud of put their faith in him, launching his career in top flight football. So they're like um, saying, we launched Torreira. Um, yeah, Torreira didn't launch himself, but Sampdoria raised this guy and uh, made him the player that he is right now, giving him first team football in top flight football, as they did say. While well, uh, Arsenal said Lucas, who will wear the number 11 shirt, has been at the club for a medical and will now have a post World Cup break and join the club with this, uh, in early August. So that's what he's going to do. Join up with Arsenal in early August, which is, um, yeah, like 15 days away or something like that. So he's going to have a break, come back to Arsenal, and I reckon yeah, once again he'll be a great success in the Premier League. I reckon it suits these kind of physical nature midfielders that come into the game from abroad. And he's definitely a physical midfielder. Loves the challenge. He's quite pacey. He's good at dribbling. And uh, yeah, he's got an eye for a pass like he did say. So lads, let's have a look at the next one. And this guy's got an eye for a dribble. It is, of course, Riyad Mahrez, the five-star skiller. Now, where I draw the line with Riyad Mahrez is... Where does he play? Manchester City's got so many talented players. I mean, uh, on the right-hand side alone, they've got Bernardo Silva. 
He's a starter. He's a starter. Leroy Sonic could play out there. I mean, Sterling could play out there. Aguero could play out there. Gabriel Jesus could play out there. De Bruyne could... I mean, I, I lost count. Gabriel, uh, Gabriel Silva. David Silva can play here out on the right as well. So, Riyad Mahrez, where are you going to play here? In terms of that, it doesn't concern Mahrez. I will have no problem with positions. I will play wherever the manager wants me to play here. And we'll talk about that later. So, Mahrez is no issue. So, I've got no issue. But I did have an issue at the start. Because I was just worrying about where he could play. £60 million pounds for a player that could sit on the bench. I wouldn't be paying that. But Manchester City do have a lot of money. Whereas Mahrez, he knew what Leicester City meant to him. I want to thank all of you for the welcoming of me to the club right from the start. And continue to give me the belief and encouragement to achieve what we have together. My good God, did they achieve things. They won the bloody Premier League title, for God's sake. Went in the Champions League knockouts. Leicester City was great with Mahrez. Great with Vardy, but unfortunately they've lost one of the dynamic duo, and that is Mahrez. So lads, let's have a look at the next transfer. So this one went down to D. It is actually Giorgino from Napoli to uh, Chelsea. The way Sari went as well. Sari went from uh, Napoli to Chelsea to manage to D. As did Jorginho. Jorginho joined them. He really kind of rejected Manchester City and uh, the Manchester clubs because he reckons he wanted to live in London. But I reckon he wanted to link up with Sarri at Chelsea. I was just seeing if that transfer did go through. It did go through. Sarri is now manager of Chelsea FC and Jorginho is now a Chelsea player for £57 million in the rumoured fee. Of course, it always goes undisclosed this, undisclosed that. But the rumoured fee is £57 million. Pounds, where it got confirmed by Napoli. It got confirmed by Chelsea as well and Chelsea said we are delighted Jorginho was chosen um, to join Chelsea as one of the most coveted midfielders in Europe and will become an important member of the playing squad. Now does this kind of trigger a domino effect? Kante yesterday was rumoured to be uh, wanted by Barcelona. Will that kind of go into effect now Jorginho has joined? I know Jorginho and Kante aren't like the exact player, but like midfielders and stuff like that. Kante does a completely different job. Jorginho, he's got a pass on him. He's got a bloody pass on him. I've seen some highlights of him today. My good God, he's like a Perlo in disguise. His forward passes are crazy. You can loft him in behind the defence. He can pass it side to side. He can thread the through balls. He can do what he wants. His passing is very good. And again, I reckon he's doing an upgrade from an 81 to an 83 red card. So just a little bit higher than Torreira. But, uh, I reckon Jorginho will be fantastic, especially for early game on FIFA 19, and it's what I look forward to for you, especially for the, like, the Italians within the Premier League. I think like you've got Ogbonna. Is Ogbonna even in the Premier League anymore? I'm not too sure about that, but you don't have too many Premier League Italians. Maybe Gabbiadini, uh, again, I don't know if he's in the Premier League anymore, but 57 million was the fee for Jorginho. So lads, what's the next transfer? Now I stuck this in as a bit of a bonus today because, as you know, my club is Newcastle United, and he's transferred from Chelsea to Newcastle. Newcastle United on loan. <laughs> I'm going to include loans in these transfers because they are very important and they can go down as one watch cards on uh, FIFA 19 because on FIFA 18 you look at Benucci, uh, he was alone. You look at James Rodriguez, he was alone with option to buy. And um, Kennedy is a uh, season long loan to Newcastle United, as you see. Chelsea uh, have elected to keep hold of him and once again send him out on a temporary basis. That is what Chelsea said. And Kennedy went to Newcastle, of course, he was a Newcastle card last season because he was also on loan uh, and Newcastle last season, so he's kind of renewed his loan shape at Newcastle but I reckon he'll get a, like an upgrade on the card from 72 he's not a silver man he's not a silver he's definitely in the gold category if Matt Ritchie can get a gold card so can Kennedy Kennedy goes to a 75 for me because I reckon he is that good he's a fantastic player for Newcastle let's be neat said I'm really pleased to have Kennedy back with us I'm sure every fan will be happy with the signing I'm bloody happy because Kennedy is an outstanding attacking player not a full back or anything like that some people were saying when I did tweet him out that he rejoined uh, don't play him wing back he, he never really played wing back for Newcastle. He, he was on the front foot, he was scoring goals, and he's very effective in the final third. So, uh, again, a fantastic sign for Newcastle. Could be a good early game player with 80 pace, 82 dribbling, uh, 69 shooting, not too sure on that capper capper, uh, and uh, 68 physical as well. So, lads, let's have a look at another one. Now, this is possibly the biggest transfer you will see all summer long. Well, for a couple of summers, unless Mbappe uh, or Neymar decide to play, uh, jump to Real Madrid or Barcelona or somewhere like Manchester City, uh, someone with a lot of money, let's just say that, because Real Madrid have sold Cristiano Ronaldo to Juventus. Now, this transfer went down a couple of days ago, but it still needs to be in the video because it's a talking point. Ronaldo to Juventus, what will this mean for Madrid? What do they do now? Do they go out and sign the Neymar? Well, that's been um, categorically denied by Real Madrid. They issued a statement saying they haven't went after Neymar. They've got a good relationship with Paris Saint-Germain. This, that, the other. But does that mean they're signing Mbappe? Does that mean they sign a Hazard? Does that mean they go after Salah? What does it mean, man? They need another 
Galactico, Ronaldo, what will happen to Real Madrid, his former club, in that sense. Whereas, <laughs> you'll come, you've assigned the coin, Juventus just signed Ronaldo. I reckon he'll go from a left wing to a striker, by the way, uh, next FIFA, because that's the position he's kind of molding himself into right now, is striker row, and I reckon he'll be striker for Juventus, because they don't normally don't play with wingers, do they? They've got like, well, sometimes they do. They play like Quadrado on the wing and uh, Dybala on the wing, but sometimes they play like a, like a solid defensive shape, and then like a one attacking midfielder, then two strikers. I reckon they could do that with Ronaldo Higuaina and Dybala sat just behind the strike force. But um, yeah, what does it mean for the Serie A? There's so many questions about this transfer because the Serie A, it could blossom now. It could blossom. I mean, uh, for a couple of seasons now, Serie A, where you been? Where you been? Hasn't really been um, yeah, in the in the kind of uh, media spotlight too much. But now it's going to be because Cristiano Ronaldo is he brings his weight in gold, and whether it be media kind of stuff, whether it be merchandise, he's going to make up that transfer for you of 105 million pounds very, very quickly. Whereas you see Juventus say 100 million euros payable in two years, plus the solidarity contribution provided by for the by the well for by the FIFA regulations and accessory charges for 12 million. So that's 112 million euros. I think that comes out like roughly like roughly 105 million pounds. So again, it's a huge, huge transfer. And Ronaldo, he requested this. It wasn't really um, upon Real Madrid to sell him. They didn't really want to sell him. But uh, as a player does request a transfer, it's normally um, it normally goes through. And Ronaldo got his wish. He's moved from Real Madrid to the Serie A at Juventus. Now I've got to say I'm very happy with this transfer because I like Juventus. I've liked Juventus for a lot of years. And to see him in Juventus colours, I mean, wow, he's in black and white. My Newcastle United, black and white. I'm very looking forward to that. So um, yeah, lads, Ronaldo has joined Juventus. So there we have it, lads, for another video on the channel. And this one was, uh, it was going to be short and sweet because I wanted to ease you in the FIFA 19 content coming to the channel because I don't want to kind of throw it all your way straight away. I want to ease you into it. So today we had the likes of Ronaldo, Jorginho, Shakiri, Lucas Torreira, etc, etc. And I thought, you know what, there's a good bunch. There's a good bunch there. But if there's any confirmed ones that's went through in the past or is about to go through or there's rumours or this, that, the other, let me know in the comment section below and I will cover that within the next video. And as of Monday onwards. I'm not just saying it's just going to be this on the channel. There will be 18 content as well, but this is a bonus to uh, any kind of content on the channel. FIFA 19 content. I always love kind of um, the Photoshop and then um, the cards and stuff like that. Just getting an idea, just getting this excitement for a brand new game. And that's what we're building up from now on uh, on this channel. So lads, if you have enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Uh, smash a like and it suggests any other players that you do want me to cover because as you've seen in the video, I cover the transfer, look at uh, the bonuses, the cons, etc, etc with uh, the transfers and um, we go through the transfer in general so if there's any transfers that you do want me to cover at all anywhere in the world let me know in the comment section below it might be even China China might be on FIFA 19 who knows lads who bloody knows but that's going to be it for today's video smash a like subscribe if you're new and as always lads I will catch you all next time